Just like its predecessors, the Tag Heuer Connected Modular 41 neatly blends the design of a luxury Swiss watch with the touchscreen, button, microphone and charging connector of a smartwatch. The Tag's Grade 5 titanium case looks and feels tough but isn't overly heavy on the wrist. What we like about this watch, and its larger sibling, is how it doesn't shout too loudly about what it is. Those who know their watches will know, of course, but to everyone else the connected modular is a sharp looking sports watch which, at first glance, may or may not be a smart watch. Unlike the square screened Apple Watch 3, the tag takes an approach shared by other Wear OS devices from watchmakers, it looks like a traditional watch. There is a single button at 3 o'clock, mimicking the crown of a mechanical watch. A press of this wakes the watch up, as does a tap of the screen or raising your wrist, then a second press shows a list of the watch's applications. Press again and you are taken back to the watch face. Below the button is the watch's microphone, which is used for speaking to Google Assistant and dictating for when you want to reply to a message. The watch gets its name from how the strap and lugs can be removed and replaced with alternatives, thus making it a modular design. There is a button where each strap connects to the case, press this while simultaneously pulling the strap towards the back of the case, and it slides free. It's a simple but well-engineered mechanism and one we feel can be trusted to keep the watch safely on your wrist. At 41 millimeters across, the Tag Heuer's case is about the average size of a men's wristwatch. Though, this downsizing will be welcomed by anyone who felt the 45 millimeters version was just too big for their wrists. However, the new model is only very slightly less chunky, as the depth of the case is 13.2 millimeters compared to the 45's 13.75 millimeters. When you consider the Apple Watch 3 is a skinny 11.4 millimeters, you realize the new tag, while more accommodating than ever before, isn't quite as compact as it looks when viewed face on. 